the bee. I have some really interesting facts for you today. Did you know that one out of every three bites of food that you take have been pollinated by some form of insect? That's right, without insects, you would have a very limited food options. So bees, through pollination, are able to give us this delicious food that we all love. So you might like cereal, but bees, they eat other foods through the form of pollen and nectar found in beautiful flowers. Right here, I have a tomato plant, and guess what? Without bumblebees, we wouldn't have any tomatoes. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, good, I don't like tomatoes anyway. But guess what? Without insects, we wouldn't have chocolate, we wouldn't have coffee, we wouldn't have delicious fruits like apples and pears, and also we wouldn't have almonds, and those are just a few. So today, we're gonna hear from Cheyenne the beekeeper as she walks us through what is pollination and why it's super important to us. Hi there, I'm Cheyenne. I'm here at the Backyard Farmer's Garden at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln East Campus. And this beautiful garden has lots of plants. I'm gonna to talk to you today about pollination and why it's important. So most people recognize bees as being the really important pollinators um, out in the garden because they're the ones that are actively flying around between flowers. But there's other insects and animals that are also pollinating. So also butterflies are pollinators and the caterpillars will come and eat the plants as well. Here, there's actually a caterpillar right here in the fennel. And so it's eating the leaves, but the adults will go around and do the actual pollination of the plants as well. Some other insects like beetles will go around from flower to flower as well. They're also after that really yummy pollen. Um, you might see hummingbirds in your gardens at home. Those are really great pollinators because they are also going after the nectar. So they are also getting that pollen on them as well. So there's lots of really important animals that you might find around and they all do pollination. Right here we have a strawberry and you might recognize this as being the big juicy red fruits that we eat, but this is actually how they start to grow. So they start as a flower and then they grow into a big fruit like that. And as it gets to the chance to ripen in the sun, it'll turn the dark red color and then it'll be ready for us to eat. Over here, there's some other really pretty flowers. And in there, there's even a little bee. In there, getting some pollen. Very cool. So there's lots of different types of flowers and many of them turn into the foods that we eat. Now bees, they don't eat the fruits and the vegetables the same way that we do. So we might make a salad or make a stir fry or something like that but instead the bees are going to the flowers for something called nectar, which is a sugary sweet kind of substance that they can drink up with their tongues. And that's why they're going to all of these flowers. And you might see here, like there's some squash flowers right here. See how brightly colored that is? These bright colors help tell the bees that there's good food in there. So these bright colors attract the bees like a neon sign saying, hey, come eat here. And so the bees go in and they're really, really fuzzy. So they get all of these little things called pollen. And the pollen sticks onto their hairs and it's really sticky. And as the bees fly from flower to flower, they visit male flowers and they visit female flowers. And in this process, the little sticky pieces of pollen fall off and it does something called pollination, which over the course of time takes the flower from this right here to over here we have a fully grown zucchini like what we would eat pollination is super important because without having the bees to do this process for us we wouldn't have as many foods that we can eat and i personally really like food so we really need to be good to the bees to make sure that we can get all of this yummy food from this beautiful garden so now that I've kind of talked to you about all of these fantastic garden plants and the foods that they make, what is your favorite food? And is it, does it grow someplace like in a garden? And would we have it without pollinators like bees and butterflies?